you know, this is, uh, I don't know, the third or fourth time that I've been down in, down here in the uh, Sinosher facility. And I never noticed this before. <clears throat> now, to give you an idea where I'm at, I'm at the, you know, the, the very far end here, the core control. You can see the black wall residue here and up here, but there's no residue over here. And like I said, this is the first time I actually noticed this. I, this is interesting. I mean, these are obviously some types, some type of, uh, yeah, like uh, doors that would open and close, obviously, for supplies. And you can't go in here walking in here, but what happened here? I mean, was it broken into? Did the facility get broken into through this, this area? I don't see any evidence of blast marks. And you can see what appears to be part of the, uh, the type of roll-up gate door right here. But you see how it's like folded inwards, right? Was this thing ripped apart? First off that came to my mind was, oh, you know, maybe the, uh, the Cerberus robot had something to do with this, but that doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense. And of course, during the, uh, the mission that you're on down here, somewhat damaged, you know, there's no evidence of any of the residue here. So this doesn't appear to have anything to do with uh, so me when you're chasing her. But let's come in here and kind of see here. I'm just going to kind of phase through here really quick and see what this is. Okay, let's see if we can come back down. There we go. Yeah, that is just the weirdest thing. Check this out. Some kind of a... Definitely definitely a big supply room. Let's turn a light on. It's a little bright, but... Look at these, like these huge... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Some kind of uh... power cells or cooling cells or something. I don't know. Almost looks like that was thrown through it from the outside. This actually is a pretty good sized room here if you look at this. Another one of those mysteries of this uh, facility. A big like uh, conveyor system right here. So obviously this would have been another entrance in and out of the unit for them to uh, move goods in and out. Truly interesting. A lot of interesting uh, mysteries down here when it comes to this place. I'm curious if I can actually jump out and go through here. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to phase back through. Yeah. Interesting. Let me know in the comments if uh, you have any idea, you know, what the uh, story behind this might be. I mean, we know based on lore that this facility was established back in... Uh, like right before the 2020s or right up in that period of time, then they came back and revisited the place around the mid 2060s and started to get it uh, rolling again. You can tell that by some of the lore from that uh, one gal that was a net runner coming down here. I think uh, her, her name was Lisa, right? I think so. I, I came across a couple of her uh, tablets and whatnot, but yeah, something happened here. Someone either broke into this room from the outside here, or it was ripped open from the inside. I think it's really interesting, you know, any of the underbelly of uh, Night City that you can ex explore, you know, that shows like the old road systems, you know, just like here in the uh, Sinister facility, how I did a video talking about the mysteries of that, you know, some time back, where we showed the old roadway that initially came in. It came in through a tunnel. Of course, that tunnel is totally buried now. But like, uh, you know, the basement under the uh, Arisoka building, you know, if you can get down under there, you can actually walk around and, you know, see the history, you know, underground down there as well. So it's, it's really cool. It's it's cool exploring the uh, the history of Night City and, these weird, mysterious places to kind of uh, try to really 
immerse yourself in the lore even more. Yeah, I just thought it was kind of fascinating. I never noticed that uh, that gate being uh, totally ripped open like that. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys think that might have been from. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video. Till then, keep safe and peace.